Hey, Tanya. What's up, John? I tell you what's up. It's not good when you hear your bump from a cruise line. Stay tuned. We're going to tell you more. Yep. Who's that? Today we have sidekick Annabelle. She actually got in my lap today. Charlie's off running around, but Annabelle doesn't get to be seen much. Duke's over there, but this is Annabelle. She's another Yorkie we have, so. She's the princess. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's get to the topic. Can you get bumped from a cruise line? You know, you, you always hear, I got bumped from a flight, I got bumped from this, bumped from, from that. But the answer is yes. You can get bumped from your cruise, and that's not a good it's thing. It's very, very, very rare. We've never been bumped, and we've been cruising for years, yes. but we have heard of cases where it does happen. Right, and there's four, four cases where you might get bumped. One, if, if it's a charter cruise, which we're going to go more in depth in each category. Two, it's redeployment cruises. Three, if the boat has to go to the shipyards for any major repairs. And four, you're, they overbooked, which sucks if they do that. But yeah. if they overbook, you can get bumped. All right, so let's talk about the first one. We're going to talk about a charter cruise. So there's good and bad about booking way ahead, like me. We, we do. We do three, two, three years out. Yeah, we're booked uh, late as... April of 2026, May of 2026. He gets bored at work and he uh, books cruises. Uh, <laughs> when he's on his downtime. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. he's on his downtime. <laughs> sometimes. But there's good and bad about booking way out. Yeah, you can get the cabin when you want. You can get the uh, cruise ship you want. You can get the itinerary what you want. But in the meantime, the cruise industry, if a charter comes in and says, hey, we want to rent this cruise ship, for this many weeks or this many days, and they come come in with a big number, you can get bumped. So just be prepared that if you go way out, there's a slight chance if it, the charter takes over that cruise line ship, you might get bumped. So what happens if they bump you but not me? <sighs> Bye. I guess <laughs> I guess you're gonna go on your first solo cruise, right? <laughs> right. Or if they bump me and not you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. It would be by cabin. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I, see, there's no humor in that one. <laughs> I know. I know. I can't win. I so, can't get you bumped. <laughs> yep. So, for instance, the Norwegian Spirit got a charter and bumped everyone from July 3rd to September 18th. But the good thing was, it was more than a year out that people did get their notice, say, hey, from this time to this time, you've been bumped. And I believe they got 100%. Of course, they're going to get 100% refund. And I think they got a couple of other goodies, but they didn't get into what the goodies were. So that's one way you can get bumped. Don't like it. What it can happen. The other one is if the ship needs major repair. Remember that instance? When was it the glory and the uh, freedom? Hit the dock or whatever. Or hit, hit another boat. Uh, and the, the one boat hit the one boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That had to go to the shipyard. <laughs> I think it was about four or five years ago when the glory and freedom kind of met each other yeah. in the wrong way. And uh, yeah. They hit the dining room or something. Some yeah, area, it, yeah. It, it took out almost two thirds to a third of the back of the ship. So had to go, go in. Or the magic, what last year was docked, uh, what was that, in the Bahamas or Jamaica? Jamaica. It was in Jamaica and it was uh, smashing against the dock. You know, I don't know if it went in, but I guarantee they took it in a dry dock to make sure it oh, was yeah. repaired. No, I don't think they kicked the group off the ship. They finished there. They were able to finish They their finished, group, but they took but the... But they had to cut yeah. one of their areas short. Right. So. Make sure the boat was in good repair. Yeah. So that that sucks when that happens, uh, you know. But safety comes first before anything else. Uh, you don't want to go on a cruise ship, got some something wrong with the ship, mm -hmm. you know. That's 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 another one. Number three, and I think this is the worst one. 
And we've seen, seen this a lot during COVID. Overbooked. And the cruise line was at the mercy of the CDC at that time. How many... Um, God, I had a brain fart. Sorry, passengers, yes. gas passengers, they can have a cruise ship. When the cruise industry reopened up in 2022, After COVID. 2021, 20, late 21, 22, they were subject to 50%. So I know people that was booking and they got bumped because of the percentage of what the CDC allowed the cruise industry have yeah, they on couldn't be ship. full capacity. That's right. Because there had, they still had, even when you sat in like the dining rooms or the shows, you had to sit still apart and you had to wear masks. So, right, and and it, of course each country was different because it happened to us. We sailed on the Mardi Gras, and that was fifty percent capacity when mm -hmm. we. That was our very first cruise after. I know it was bad for financial for the ships. But for us, as going out, it was, was nice. great because yeah. you didn't have the crowds, and it was you could be on a big ship, and it was like being with the group of people on a smaller ship. Right. So yeah, that was nice. We made it nice. Yeah, um, but each country during that time, for instance, we're on um, the Princess Sun Princess, and we're come. Was it Sun Princess? Yes. Sun Princess. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Sky Princess. Yeah, that was for Alaska. No, that was Discovery. Oh, okay, when yeah, we, you're right. When you're right. You're right. And there's a percentage of passengers that came down with COVID, and we're supposed to go to St. Thomas, and the country said no. Nope, oh yeah. You're not allowed to come in, even though we diverted over to St. Martin, and St. Martin said, "Fine, you can come into our port." So at that time, each area each country had their own rules about how many people can come into port and not to come was that port. the one we got diverted because someone on our ship had covid so they yeah. said no yeah they someone on our cruise ship they they sectioned them off they were they were quarantined but because we they have to acknowledge that someone on our ship had covid before going to that port that port they wouldn't let us come there so that's right. why we had to go to somewhere else and they used, if I remember correctly, they used the ninth floor, uh, one side, one wing of the ninth floor for yeah. uh, COVID patients. And I believe... Well, they're not I, patients, but COVID, the, the COVID guests recipients. that came down with COVID. Yeah, <laughs> right. I guess it came uh, down. COVID recipients. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't want to receive COVID, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, we had eight people on our cruise that came down with COVID yeah. at that time. And uh, that's why we had to divert over to, to St. Martin for a two night stay instead of a one day stay. And that's okay. We love St. Martin. Yeah. And then there's other times, uh, cruise ships just over, over book. They mm -hmm. just, here's an example. So Cele the celebrity, uh, millennium in Mexico Riviera, they overbooked. Uh, their ship and they have to give back some some money to people and some yeah. goodies. And as we mentioned, this is very rare, but it can happen. It's right. very rare, though. It's never happened to us. Knock on wood. We've been lucky. Knock on wood. <laughs> That's hollow. Right. Yeah, There's hollow. nothing in there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And the last Let me one. See. Can I see there? Oh, yeah. I can see through it. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done playing. Are you done? So the last, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the last one is redeployment. Um, in some cases, cruise ships are used in emergency cases, especially during uh, the COVID. Uh, they brought a couple uh, cruise ships off port to use as resting areas because the hospitals was getting over overwhelmed. So they did that also. The Super Bowl, uh, when it was in Jacksonville, they brought some, Jacksonville didn't have enough hotels, Jacksonville, Florida I'm talking about, didn't have enough hotels, what the NFL wanted. So what they what did they do? It was very inventive. They brought some cruise ships and say, hey, got enough rooms now. Mm -hmm. So sometimes cruise ships get redeployed in cases like that. Um, I remember in 05 when uh, Hurricane Katrina really devastated the Gulf Coast 
And yeah, they brought trailers down to New Orleans and all that, but they also parked some cruise ships. New Orleans, a nice, great, which we love, uh, cruise port. They use the boats for housing and feeding homeless people at that time because of Katrina. So there's a lot of reasons why you might get bumped the four redeployment helping out redeploying weather good one weather mm -hmm. hurricane redeployment you might be going to mexico uh, uh, uh. mother nature might say you're going to be going to the bahamas yeah and you know it happens even when you're already on the cruise if you're new new to cruising and you haven't had to experience this the weather can be so severe that they have to go while you're already on your cruise and you might not go to the port that you think you're going to go to but they always find you something fun to do and yeah. they will reimburse you for the excursions that you book so you don't ever have to worry about that they do take care of you um we've mentioned this before in videos too you just have to speak to people talk to them ask them questions at the guest services if you go down yelling you know you're not going to get things worked out but they'll work with you so what should you do if you get bumped number one don't panic don't panic. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Hear out what the, uh, your cruise line or your travel agent has to tell you. You know, listen to the full spill. Hey, this is why, blah, 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 blah. Your cruise ain't going to happen. Let that sink in. It's not going to happen on that cruise ship. All right. Next thing is know your options. Hey, you can take a cruise this week, what you have planned, but it's not going to be on this ship. Or it might not be even that cruise line, but I can yeah. get you booked on another cruise line. Identical ship might not be an itinerary what you want, yeah. but yeah. it could or happen. Book out, or right. reserve and book at a later time, which they'll make good on what you spent. Right. On the cruise. And negotiate. Say, well, you know. And they usually, when something like this happens, most cruise lines will give you some kind of onboard credit, right. something for your troubles. So you might make out even better, you know, end yeah. up with a better cruise, plus a little extra spending money. And that's okay. It might be a little inconvenience in the beginning. Yeah. But negotiate, yeah. you know, and yeah. most of the time the cruise line understands. Your traveling agent will negotiate on your behalf and you might make out with a free cruise. And if you don't have a travel agent, you can, you, there's, you can still talk to someone. Right. So. You don't have to need a travel agent. Not everybody agent. has a travel agent. So, how can you protect yourself from getting bumped? And that it, if it happens, it happens. But what can you do to ease the pain, I should say, from getting bumped? Number one is buy the travel insurance. Okay. So, if you buy travel insurance and they're out there, Google travel insurance. And our friend John, I believe, has some information about that or yeah. does something with that yes. too. So. Yes. So, and that he is listed. Um, John Graham. Hi, if you're watching. Hey, Jan. He's listed hey, John. at the end of our video in our description. He can answer any of those questions too and help you point you in the right directions or get you th the stuff you need. So. Yep. So buy travel insurance. That protects anything what you put under that travel insurance. It goes comes down to that. Um, read the five lines, of course. If you're not sure, talk to someone like John, who's a travel agent that's experienced in this line of work. That's what you And he's do. great and he's honest. I'm going to tell you right now, he's very honest. We met him years ago and we love him and his wife. So. And the next one is what we just tied into, book with a cruise specialist. Are we specialists? Yes. Yeah. But I think I am. John, John Hort, yeah. I, Tanya and I. And you know, let me put this out there that we're talking about this. So I have been for quite some time interested in getting information on getting into being a travel agent. So anybody that wants to comment below that can point me in a direction um you know i know there's like classes and different things but the ones i looked at they cost so much i'm just looking for some information right now so if you have any information please comment that below that was just something i wanted to put out there that we're talking about travel agents and stuff so why do i see more cruises getting booked in the near future <laughs> no it's been something i've thought about for a while and yeah. I, I have even people asking me about it multiple people asking me if i do it um, it's not something, you know, I'm going to push for our channel. Our channel is our channel for fun things, but, um, it's something I'm interested for myself to, to have the knowledge. He books some of our cruises himself and, uh, I he's pretty good at it. I, yeah. I just, something I want to do, you know, 
I do about 90, 95% booking myself. Um, if I'm not sure, I do call up the cruise line and double check, make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah. Because I don't want to get there and boom, I didn't do something right. But the last one, like I said, was specialist. Um, if you're not sure what to do, uh, talk to a travel agent, a specialist to get the right insurance or right protection to write everything. So your vacation, if it does have a hiccup, the hiccup turns into a positive moment afterwards. Yeah. So for those that don't know why I keep looking down, Charlie's down here. He sees me holding Anna, but he's got his toy in his mouth, so he's not going to let me pick him up. But he's usually the ones in the vi or the one in the video. <laughs> he's just kind of down on the floor right now. <laughs> All right. So on that note, <laughs> I think we're pretty much wrap that video up. Yep. And I got another cool article we're going to talk about and I ain't going to tell you. You're not going to tell me? No. Nope. Sometimes I don't get told. I just sit here and wing it. <laughs> and then some things I have to give him information on. But, you know, before we wrap this up too, if you're done, I want to say, as always, if you guys are enjoying our content, give us the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It does not cost anything to subscribe, and it does help our channel grow. It really does. And um, always leave us comments, you know, that type of thing. We, we enjoy reading your comments. Sometimes you guys have information that we don't know or something we say you might have more information on that or might correct us on something, you know, and we don't mind. You know, just do it in a respectful way. <laughs> That's all we ask. And what else do you want to say? See you on the next video side. See you on the next video side. Love you all. Bye, everyone. Bye now. Take care. Bye.